I love hippie, please put me in the next video. And that was said by Africa360 yesterday at 10.09pm. Hello and welcome to this casted game. No, wait, that's not right. I'll edit that part out. Hello and welcome to this deck review of the new and unimproved Second UK. Second UK has been nerfed significantly in the upcoming Bernadotte patch. And there's a lot of changes to the division, so we're doing a deck build and there will be a game attached to this. So, starting at the first tab, you've got this new Rover 101 FC supply. So, this is 25 points for 500 supply, which if we back out is uh, is worse than every other 20 point supply in the game. So, this is the MTLB... Uh, well, this is the MTLB supply, 20 points, 500 supply. Um, and then this is the M20... What's it called? The M20... Okay, so the, the TRM 2000 supply vehicle, which is 20 points for 500 supply. It's also faster. It also has more HP. It's also French. And it's uh, it's worse than the M35 supply, which is 20 points for 500 supply. It's also faster. So this is just a, a garbage unit, and you shouldn't bring it. Uh, so you're forced to just bring what you brought in the previous patch, which is two cards of Bedford MJ supply. And a Chinook supply for that juicy 6,000 supply in a card. You could, if you wanted 6,000 supply in a card, remove one of these and replace it with this. But then you 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 really got to take care of your trucks and make sure you don't sell them so that you can constantly ferry them back and forth between the... Hello, somebody wants a game? Might have to interrupt this deck build and start it again. Oh no, that's something else. <sighs> um... Yeah, yeah, talk, I'll, I'll just edit that part out. So, Rover CP is just your standard 3 CP. Uh, it's very weak to artillery. The Saxon CP is a bit stronger, and crucially it has smoke, but it's two availability. So you could bring two Saxons instead of the Rover and a Saxon, but I like to bring the Saxons first, and then when I start getting desperate, then I swap into the Rovers. So I, I like to have lots of CVs because of my playstyle. It's worth also noting that the fob has come down in price. Uh, it's 175 now, down from 230, I believe, in life. SAS are now 100 points, which is pretty crazy, pretty crazy. Uh, they're basically back where they started um, when the when this division first came out. So you still need them because they're still really good, but they they will cost you an arm and a leg now, and you got to be very very careful with them all game because they're just so expensive. Arm Rifles have also come up in price, they're 45 points now, so if we can just do another comparison here. If you compare the Arm Rifles to, for example, uh, the Chasseurs of France, for 5 points less you get one more man and a significantly better rocket launcher because of the range and the accuracy. The extra shots carried, the 2 more pen, the extra suppression. Whereas the Arm Rifles get one more MG. So. Yeah, that's another poor comparison, and if you look at, for example, Motschutzen, which are now 10 availability, the Motschutzen get uh, better MGs, a better rocket launcher, the resolute trait, and are the same price with the same number of men. So it, it really is one of the decisions of all time to balance in this way. But you're still kind of forced to bring two cards of them, because you need these Warrior Milans, right? But these, you know, this is sort of a big deal, right? Because it means that these are now 90. And if you get your calculator up, 90 times 3 is 270. Which means that you can't afford 3 in a minute. When they were 45 points each, it was, uh, it was 255 points for 3 per minute. Um, is, that, is that right? One sec, let me get my calculator up real quick. So we got a we got we got ninety. So you get two hundred and sixty points in a minute, right? Ninety times three is two hundred and seventy, so you can't buy three in a minute. When there were five points cheaper, it was eighty five times three. So that's two hundred and fifty five points. So yeah, you could buy three in a minute. So that's a signif another significant nerf, as well as all the other significant nerfs. You talk about the HSF, these guys are basically the same. You'll notice that the units have changed, their faces have changed. Um this the air mobile pioneers have been buffed in that they now start at the same vet as the regular air mobile 
because before it was kind of pointless to bring these guys because they were starting at one vet lower um, than the air bubble, so you would only get five at the same vet. So that was uh, it was a bit pointless to bring those. So it's good that they fixed that. And crucially, you also now get the Lynx AH1 rocket. So dumbfire rockets are still pretty bad, but you get so many of these guys, um, you can really get quite a lot of them. And so you can ball them up and use them later. Uh, you can use them in big groups, but you don't want to overinvest. You don't want, like, more. I think 16 is probably more than enough. So that's the Air Mobile Pioneers. I also bring regular Air Mobile for the rocket launcher. The LOR-80 is very useful at killing things. It shoots a lot faster than the Carl Gustav. It's got more pen than the Carl Gustav. Uh, it, it carries less rounds than the Carl Gustav, but they have one less MG as well um, for the same price. So it's a very interesting trade-off. I think it's a very balanced trade-off. Uh, these units have strengths and weaknesses. I think that's very good. And I bring regular Terriers, which are now only 10 per card, down from 12. So this is just the meat for the machine once I run out of everybody else. And we're just going to do a little bit of organization here, because I do like to organize my units. I always have the SAS at the start for some reason. And then, yeah, we go down in price. Now, yeah, we've got the HSF. The last thing, so I brought Terriers AT group in the game that I'm going to link you to. Uh, so that the showcase of the game, which I played against a wooden box and um yeah they're, they're they're funny for like going around sniping roads and stuff but at the end of the day um they're not as useful as bringing an infantry milan 2 team which i really regretted not having you'll note that these guys get uh a tow links because of yeah I don't really think this is worth it. I think this is a waste of 55 points because um, the regular tow isn't particularly fantastic. And because of all the aligning issues with the helicopters and stuff, I'd rather just bring them in the Rover. Uh, or better yet, in the Saxon because it's... it's um, You can't sell it, but it's got a machine gun and it's armoured and it's got smoke. It can really save your units. So get rid of the Terrier AT group and put in the Milan 2. And I usually upvet these by one. Just gives that extra little bit of accuracy, extra little bit of suppression resistance. But then if you if you find that you're buying all four of them, just down them. Air mobiles now don't come in the Saxon, right? So you have to get motorized air mobile, which are worse, but five points cheaper because they get the Carl Gustav instead of the LSW. So I actually go without. Uh, you might prefer them. I mean, we can do another comparison. So, Mott Air Mobile, and we can just compare those to Chasseurs. No, no, they're called Vol, Voltigeurs, Appalas. So, for the same price, the French get one more man and a significantly better rocket launcher. It is the Appalas is basically the best rocket launcher in the game. Or basically nothing. It is. It is the best rocket launcher in the game. Uh, you get two fewer rounds, but you get five more pen, which allows you to one-shot seven front armor vehicles. And you get much higher fire rate, much higher suppression. And what do you lose? You lose one MG. So I prefer the Grenadiers, Voltigers, Appalas. They also come in a better transport. The Vab with the 50 cal is better than the Saxon, because the 50 cal does more damage. But that's UK for you. That's UK for you. So, next tab, artillery. Uh, we got we got some small buffs coming our way. So we get the M270 MLRS, which is good news. Can finally do some MLRSing. It's very expensive, same as last patch. It's basically a stat clone of the uh, the American one. This thing is still useless. Do not bring this. This is very bad. But these 155 millimeters are pretty good. The 105s aren't particularly great. So if you want to bring artillery, I'd bring two of the 155s. And because, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, all the Germans are gone. You probably noticed there's no high match shut CERN, there's no Zikarungs. I don't, I don't know if we already got, no, we didn't get Zikarungs. There's no high match shut CERN, there's no Jaeger. Uh, there's no 120mm mortar, which is a pretty big nerf, actually, you'll miss that. So yeah, this is decent, and then you're sort of forced to bring the 81mm mortar if you want to do smoke. 
and I suggest you learn how to smoke because it's very useful. Tank tab, this is where you really feel the loss of the Germans. That M48 ABCDFG isn't there anymore. So it's a very limited tank tab now. Um, last game I accidentally didn't upvet my challenges. You really want to be bringing these at one vet because um, the challenger is, is very underpowered. Compared to all the other heavy tanks, you compare it to the M1A1, the Leopard 2, the uh, the T80BV is very underpowered. It shoots fast, it shoots slower than them, and it goes slower than them, which means uh, you, you're always at a disadvantage against somebody who can micro because he can zoom in, shoot you a bunch of times, and then if he's losing, he can drive away. He can reverse faster than you can go forwards. So that's a big problem. And so you want them at one vet just to give you a little bit of extra punching power. And you definitely need to be bringing at least one card of the Rover Milans. They're really, really, really useful. Uh, they've got good stealth. You pack them in the forests, get some snipes on stuff. More nerfs in this tab. So this availability went up by one. I believe it's three in live. I might be wrong. But the Air Mobile Scouts, I could have sworn were at eight availability. And now they're at seven. You do basically need them. Um, you could also bring the regular Scouts if you want rocket launchers at the start because you know if you basically i really like this unit so i'm bringing two cards of it which might be excessive it might actually be better to bring two foxes instead the fox has also been nerfed so it's gone up by five points and the stealth has gone down to mediocre um it's a shame i mean it's basically the lav was overpowered so they nerfed the fox <laughs> Air tab, so uh, AA tab, this is another huge nerf. This it is now classed as a vehicle as opposed to a man pad. So it doesn't, you can't put it in buildings because it's on a tripod. You know, just like this thing, which you can put in buildings and it's on a tripod. And this thing, which you can put in buildings and it's on a sort of tripod. And, uh, and this thing, which you can put in buildings and a tripod. This is now classed as a vehicle because it's on a tripod. And, uh, yeah, you know, you, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. So this thing's actually useless. I tried it in the game that you're about to see, and it was just awful. It was absolutely useless. So you're now forced to bring the regular Javelin, which is basically a bad Igler. For the same price as an Igler, it's a bad Igler. So, yeah, don't bother with the Javelin LML. It is useless. Basically, if you, you've got a 100-point Stinger unit. That's sort of what your AA is. And the Rapier FSA is now called the Rapier FSB1. Uh, the stats are all the same. You're sort of forced to bring this, given the dreadful state of your other AA. Um, yeah. Like, it's 110 points for something that really isn't particularly good. It gets counter-batteried very easily. It's basically a very bad IHOC. Um, but that's the state of... Th the UK. It's worth pointing out at this point. I do hope I don't have any racism around here. Uh, no, it's all looking pretty good to me. Just need to open up a Google Chrome tab. Um, so if you look at the Min Mistral AA French, right? Uh, the, the Minstrel is fired from a tripod in real life. You can see the tripod there. You can see the tripod there. You can see the tripod there. You see the tripod there. You see how they're deliberately obscuring it by taking a picture from the other side to hide it? That's on a tripod. It's on a tripod. Uh, it's on a tripod. It cannot be fired without the tripods because it's really heavy. And in-game, it's basically just a super stinger, which can go into buildings. And stroll. So this it's just a super stinger in-game. Just runs around with it in his hands and shoots everybody. It can go into buildings. It's just treated like a man pad. Meanwhile, the javelin Lamau is on a tripod in real life and so it's on a tripod in game and it can't go into buildings and it's classed as a vehicle and it's really slow just one of those things i suppose um heli tab so this is a cool new unit the f ito uh, it's very expensive and you don't get a lot of them uh it's okay it basically two shots uh most heavy tanks i think it actually two shots any tank in the game the only issue is that it's very weak, like it's 6 HP, it's got 10% ECM, and it takes a long time to align, like it's it's got to be static, this is just a bug, it can't fire on the move, and it's it's very, very difficult to use properly, um, so I'm actually going to get rid of 
one of them and that will allow me to get more infantry no i'm not i'm actually going to keep it because yeah they're, they're gonna it's gonna die uh, to like helicopter runs and stuff because of how expensive it is um Gazelle rockets, you need these for your backline action. If somebody's raiding you on the backline, you can just spam out six gazelle rockets. At this point, it might be redundant, because if you keep these rockets, the Lynx rocket, then you could use that instead of the gazelle rocket. So you might want to rework this tab and bring more AA, or more air or something. More nerfs in this tab. So I don't know if the phantom price has changed, but... Yeah, there you go. But crucially, you only get one card of Jaguar Clusters now, uh, which mean, which is actually a really, really big problem. So you're really going to struggle against heavy tanks in this division because you can't kill them from the air anymore. You've only got two. This will sort of do a bit, but not a whole lot uh, to the tanks. And, uh, and this thing is really not very good. So you've got to be very careful with these. Uh, it's a shame that it's been nerfed so much so it's, it's very difficult to deal with heavy tanks um so you sort of need defensive fi toes but if they bring up the stingers right this is only 2600 meters range you can't fire it on the move or anything uh the, the pen is low right but it actually hits from the top I probably should have mentioned that so um yeah it takes two hits to kill three top armor from what i recall from what i recall so that's the new and unimproved second UK. Massive nerfs to basically every single tab. You get a new unit that you can't use in this tab. Nerfs to SAS. Nerfs to arm rifles. Uh, nerfs in terms of, like, no Germans. Nerfs in this tab. You get no 120mm mortar. I mean, I should probably talk about the positives. You do get this now, and you do get these uh, these rockets now. And the Air Mobile Pioneers have been buffed. They come at one additional vet. Tank tab's been nerfed because you don't get the M48s anymore. Uh, the challenges are still as as underperforming as ever. Recon tab I, has been nerfed because the Foxes have definitely been double nerfed. I'm not sure if these were a availability. Might actually upvet these. Do I really need? Do I really need 14 of them? Probably not. Or you know, or you can downvet it and bring another Fox, um, which is probably a better idea actually. I used to bring these guys just in case I need a recon with a rocket launcher, but that's, you know, you can just send a regular unit around the back to do the same thing. And, uh, yeah, nerfs in this tab, um, because the Javelin LML now can't enter buildings. Buffs in this tab because of the FI tow. And nerfs in this tab because you lose one of your best units, the Jaguar Cluster. So that's second UK, let me know what you think, and now we'll go in-game. Right, so here I am playing on the new Bernadotte patch, and I'm playing as the new and unimproved 2nd UK Infantry Division. And I'm up against a wooden box playing a 7th Panzer, which to my knowledge hasn't really been changed. Um, and we're on Two Lakes Duel, which is not my favourite map. Very difficult map to use my air mobile. Okay, apparently 7th has been changed. What has been changed? Tf oh yes, of course. I completely forgot about that. Seventh was actually nerfed because it lost all its T fifty fives. This war will be over by Christmas. It lost its T fifty five AM twos, but it has base T fifty fives and more T seventy twos. So maybe it was actually a buff because I, I think the T seventy two is better. And yes, mot shots are now ten per card. So yeah, overall buffs, buffs to seventh Panzer, uh, which I guess it needed it, and uh, big nerfs to second UK, uh, which didn't need it. You hate to see it, but I've been I've been accused of complaining too much. Oops, what happened there? And yes, you now get the Faggot M. Uh, which is interesting to say the least. But he will struggle in the early game against my super cool rush. Because he only gets Spezial Aufklärer. The only issue is that he might... He, I'm on the bad side of the map. He can actually get to Oscar pretty fast. So we're going to have to sadly spend two... Very, very expensive SAS. <laughs> Get into there. Oh, no, but he gets there first. Oh, yeah, so it's, it's a big problem. It's a big problem. The This side of the map is just weaker than the other one, but it is what it is. And we're going to really struggle against the T-72s, which are basically about the same as the Challenger and 70 points uh, cheaper. So 
I really want a Zerg Rush Zulu. Really bad map for me, to be honest. If it was a nice open map, I could use the Lynx Rockets more, but it's not. It's quite a small one, so... It's a difficult map to play, because I'm, I'm conscious that if I just YOLO into Zulu, I'll lose Oscar. And he probably expects me to YOLO into Zulu. So it's a bad idea, and I want to use the new M270 MLRS, which the Brits now get. So... That would be cool. Um, but yeah, we're really struggling against his tanks, I think. I think the, the late game is his to win. Uh, and he likes to play with sending stuff around the sides and stuff as well. It's very difficult. I think I might just YOLO into Zulu and, uh, and just lose and then blame my division. It could be done. It could be done. Or I could go for X-Ray uh, at like 10 minutes or something with all the Lynxes. I wish I wasn't on this map. <laughs> um, let's have a thing. Yeah, I think rushing Zulu is just going to be a bad idea because I think he will just uh, he will rush Oscar and then I'll lose Oscar. But let's do it anyway because I don't really have anything better to do today than throw. So we'll be. I accidentally bought one set of SAS in the Bedfords and one in the Saxons, and I'm not ready at all. Oh, damn it. One minute. I'm not ready at all. So yeah, you, you don't really get a lot of SS at the start now. For and I am we'll a bit concerned the about the... Special Aufklärer. And I'm a bit concerned about him rushing down Oscar. Yes, sir. Which I actually think is what he'll do. We'll I think he'll, uh, he'll let me have this, and then he'll go for this. So I need to hedge my bets, which is need a raid? less than ideal. And I wish I was on the other side. I could buy CVs later. No, I, I mean, because then I'll be at a, like a plus six disadvantage if I don't buy the CVs. So kind of need to buy them. And yeah, the, the rocket guys aren't going to get there particularly fast. And then he'll flank me. Yeah, I think rushing Zulu is a terrible idea. And instead, I should secure Oscar. So that's what I'm going to do. And Ready to transport. I really wish I'd brought these guys in Bring the Saxons. So we will not rush. Need some extra ice, I think sir. he'll expect us to do that. And something else I need to do is secure all my sides and stuff, because he constantly attacks me around the back every single game. So we'll do that at like minute one. We don't have to do it immediately. So we'll just take Oscar, get the early CVs, and then try and play an attrition game into 7th, which which will be tough, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, what else do I want over here? If he's going to rush me... Wait, he doesn't get good rush options. I think it'll be just like a slow roll T-72 attack, if I'm being entirely honest. And he'll back it up with decent air. So we need at least one of these. For when I lose the SAS. We'll deploy at this position. Hmm. So, get some... Like a fox around here. Yeah, I need that, to be honest. Because he'll send BRDM2s around the sides. For orders. Get a fox around here. Get another Milan 2. Need a raid? So this is where I this regret upvetting them. So yeah, I want to secure my borders. He might attack me in Lima. This is the other thing. I am listening, Captain. Uh, so we'll just get SAS to, to here, taxi. and yes, sir. one here, and one for enemy here, planes. and then just pad that out with some terriers, in case he does attack us there. Oh, can't get a lot of terriers. Can't get a lot of terriers. It's difficult. For I guess I'm playing too reactionary. There, taxi. Not being proactive enough. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be really quite defensive on this side. I am listening, but yeah, I don't, I, as you can Bring see, there, the, the point increases really do hurt you. You don't get a lot off the start now. You don't get a lot at the start at all. So I'm going to buy a supply for the right side. I what just do don't know where it? the hammer will Fresh fall. Thanks for waiting. Always thank your opponent for waiting. And let's just wait for the game to start. 
I'd like to take this time to thank the generous channel joiners who generously join the channel and they get the names on the screen, they get the videos up to a week early, they get members only exclusive videos of which there are now an extremely large number, uh, a very large number. And uh, that goes up every week, but mainly it's it's about helping me out. <laughs> it's like a, a way to support the channel. One membership for one month at the lowest tier is worth 2000 video views. So it's, it's very useful uh, for me. I am listening, Captain. Uh, simply because advertising revenue isn't particularly fantastic. So playing a nice think, slow Captain. game today. Nice slow game today. And uh, yeah, we still got one SS left. So we'll get this we guy all, this all the way around to here. And we just got to watch out for his rear line action because he there's lots of space here for him to do wacky things and me to not notice. Lots of space. So I am going to buy some recon helicopters. Uh, am I? Yeah, I am. And I'm also going to buy uh, a couple infantry for over here. Need some IFVs. War Daddy to Red Leader. I am listening. So he's going early CVs as well, it seems. War Daddy to Red Leader. I'm listening. And we'll get this Saxon back to like here, I, I suppose. Bad feeling. Got and a bad feeling running. about this. So do I. I play too reactionary into box. Um, We're badly hit. Like what? Okay. Oh yeah, that's the KPVT shooting me, and I can't see it, because that problem's not been fixed. So this will just explode, and I'll never be able to see him. Uh <laughs> I am listening, Captain. Okay, sir. Need some extra eyes, sir. Do some vibe checks over here. And yeah, we could use a, a recon heli so that we can lose it. And we'll buy a challenger because I've got the AA set up over here, so that's good news. And, ready. and we see an enemy truck here, which means he's put somebody there. And what? what the hell happened there? That, okay, that was a very odd bug. I just, for some orders, reason, sir? these guys... More gas driver. Uh, I'm going to have to report that one. That was definitely a very odd bug. War Daddy to Red Leader. I am listening. A very odd bug. Enemy right up. Get in formation. So I don't think there's anybody here. Yes, Captain. And we might get that. It looks like we're not going to get it, actually, because we, we missed the first volley. Yeah, okay, so we didn't get it. So we know there's a guy there. Stop and have a look around. Need and we can get this guy sir. up to here. Okay, sir. Okay, so pa oh, this guy's dead. He's already what dead because the pioneers will go faster than him and he won't actually be able to get away. So he's just going to die. Yeah, he's, he's being stunned up. So this is the problem with the SAS. you got to be really, really careful with them because they cost so much uh, that, you know, there goes 100 points. I really can't afford to lose that. And you see that the Fox loses to a 30-point SPW-40. It's just a game we play, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, so we got some additional Terriers here and some... Air mobile pioneers. Is formed and ready. Because yes, we're in a, a disadvantageous position here. Waiting for instructions. Uh, but hey, at least we can. That guy will disappear in a second. Yep. And there's probably a Milan here or a Conkers, whatever it is. Got yeah, javelin over oh, yeah. here. Uh, things coming around the side. I'm all ears. There he is. Fire! And then we just Hold reverse, up. get the SS yes, forwards. I don't Fire think we'll be able to. Uh, should be all right because I'm about to leave range. Yep. Red six mounted up. Just pressure that side a little bit. Um, Waiting for instructions. But yeah, I think his attack, his hammer will fall here if uh, if I'm correct. That's what I believe will happen. Waiting for orders. So he bought those helis, orders, and he's pulled them. He's had to pull them back. Where's that supply that I bought, or did I not? <laughs> Looking like I didn't. You might try something over here as well. So we need like a a fox there would be useful actually. There's that supply. Waiting for instructions. Selected the wrong unit. On the road again. Baker five ready. And the problem is, if we send these out, then he will use a plane to bomb them because they're so expensive. They're really high priority targets. Let's it's really worth killing them the like one hundred percent of the time. Not Get sure who formation. hurt this man. Oh no, that was from before, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm listening, Captain. 
Get ready to engage. Ah, yes, we're being shot by a man we can't see. There he is. Shut up and listen to your sergeant. And we'll get the SAS over here because he might send. Ah, yes. So there is. A, there's definitely Not a bug position. with unit we selection because that. <laughs> I'm sure they'll fix it, so I won't worry too much about it. You see, he's just hiding behind the house there. Don't know if he'll save him. Copy, sir. Need to keep the vision on him. Halt! And he knows that we're going to try something here, but we see that he's trying something over here. So we need We've got to build that. Radio and then we got that. One, yeah, and then six, here come over. the helicopters, as we predicted. So I tried to send these guys over, but because of that bug, I, it, it deselected when I, I cancelled it right because of that bug. You need to watch out for these guys here. He definitely wants to attack over here. And I, I'm going to vibe check him with the, the new rocket thingy. And we're actually going to buy our last SAS and put it on this side. And we're going to buy uh, an artillery piece. Do some vibe checks. Actually, I, I kind of want the MLRS, so I'll save it for that. As you command, sir. That's an igler, but it won't one-shot me. Because it only... Yeah. So we got him. <laughs> I don't know if these did get a little bit better. That seemed to die pretty fast. That seemed to die pretty fast. I don't know if they did get a little bit better. Who knows? Ah, so we've already got this over there. It's over there. And we're going to be just building up our AA net because any second he will unleash the planes. Let me see that's somebody there. Maybe it hit ah, yeah, so he's definitely, definitely intending to attack here. Oh, yeah, I was going to save up for that thing that I now can't afford. My apologies. Combat speed, driver. So we'll just get a quick snipe off on this and we'll finally buy this. Ready, sir. That's a tank. So, yeah, you'll see that I will actually lose to those, because there's three of them. We'll put this behind. Adjusting fire. Tank ready. Hopefully he doesn't target switch. But yeah, he doesn't actually see me, so that's Engaging that's actually target. a big advantage. Your enemy, enemy doesn't see you, you tend to do quite... Oh, shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, that didn't have to happen. That didn't orders, have to happen. Yeah, big no. mistake from me. Have orders, boys. This is red too. Enemy spotted. So... Trying to shoot that, but what are failing. Your orders, sir? That guy missed. And here we go with the MLRS. This thing is actually a very useful tool. <laughs> it's a very useful thing to have, actually. It always comes down to the infantryman and his and rifle. We're too busy missing over here. Andrew, get there. Set up the two. Let's go. We'll just try and get there. Ah, so RM70 on me. Sir. So we'll just uh, leave. <laughs> Radio check, red, one, six, so you can actually see it firing. I think they changed it to make it so you can actually see it firing. I think it's kind of hard to tell. Over here, did the SAS ever make it? They did. Ready, sir. Go, no. So just keep moving up on this side. Second platoon, let's go. And uh, yeah, we'll move this up and we'll switch our photos on this. Red get these six, guys out of here. Andrew, get there. Yeah, we see. You really got to be careful with your SAS. Look, I'm being shot by the, the man I can't see again, and uh, it's a it's a huge problem. It's a huge problem because if we lose him, he's cost, right, cost ten million points. So we to be very very careful. I we'll actually get a Milan team. You have orders, Captain. Combat speed, driver. So just trying to. Uh, as you command, sir. Weather the Beware. storm Anything here. But he is slowly pushing me out here. Second platoon, ready, sir. I'll have to buy another challenger for over here. And yeah, we Andrew, see that he's got a punk as well, apparently. <laughs> and yep, yeah, there's the enemy. So we're Rock actually gonna pull back. And then try to use the uh try to use this on him. AG, ten degrees up. Fire by order. That's an honor to serve under your command. So, in the meantime, he will try and sneak some around the back, so we need to be very, very careful about that. See, he always does that. Ah, oh, I'm hit! Ah, uh, you see, we're All gonna, right, we're in danger of losing this, yes, because we, we just can't, we do see him at least now, we do see him now. Yes, Captain. So I can move this up and kill that, we'll and then get them, the hell back. And, then we'll kill and them. For, 
I accidentally sold the transport that this came in, so we're gonna send this one to it. Hello. So yeah, he's trying to infra out infantry micro me. I say trying, he's succeeding in out infantry micro me. My infantry micro leaves much to be desired. And you see that that man has disappeared again. So we'll try and buy the Lynx FI to so I can show you that. Ready to transport. And we desperately need some supply over here. That guy smoked. We lost a fox here. That's very interesting. Actually. So we need to get some terriers up there. Pull this back. As you come on, sir. Just get me out of here. That's an honor to serve under your command. So if we got that. We're getting routed here. It's getting a bit difficult. I bailed out on my flipping challenger because of course I did. Because of course I did. <laughs> so the only way to save this is going to be to uh, try and get some supply to it, but we're never going to get it there. As you come on, sir, we have orders, boys. Can't believe I bailed out on that. That's so frustrating. Because I, I can't, yes, you know, right it's up. not fair, Get basically. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so now we're going to attack here because we're bombing it. If the enemy's in range, so are we. I got a hit! So, yeah, we don't have supply, so he's just going to die to that. I love how that's still in the game. It really gets the old noggin jogging. They couldn't even save him in time. There's just nothing you can do when he does uh, when that happens. You just have to cope. And yeah, we will struggle in the forest against the pioneers. We need to stop blobbing. So. Yeah, we're gonna lose that fight. I think because we're just getting blocked. Uh, we could try vibe checking him with the HE, and we'll move this, and we'll get a supply for it, and we'll sell this. And I am very worried about him attacking over here. So, bye, bye, Mark for the smoke. Go to there. Choose your targets. I'm going for the back one. He moves. Doesn't make a difference. There's apparently something there. So we'll get this guy back. Get this to here. Buy some more terriers. And another uh, ammo. Move this to here. Try and shoot those tanks. Go for the CV one. I'm making him attack run. See here, he did get to here. If you recall. Okay, sir. Oh, he's not. He's not fight. Yeah, because of the aligning issues, he gets a long time to move out of the way. So we're just never gonna hit him. You see, it's just We've not working. Him. It's just not working. Blue leader to Sunray. I'm listening. Enemy spotted. Do you wonder what the utilities of sending this guy to shoot that when he's so low HP? Ready, sir. So we're trying to 1v1 the Strella, but sadly um, we spin we spin around in circles and then we explode. Uh, that's just how it is when you play such a weak division. Oh yeah, I did warn you about this, I did warn you about this. But nothing can be done because when these guys come in, they come in too high. So this, I actually can't do anything about this. It's gonna blow. There are two types so we're going to lose that MLRS. And we only brought one. I had these guys here, but I guess, you know, he came in through here, so... I did know that was going to happen, I just didn't prepare adequately. I thought that all this would be enough, but he just came in through the far end, so... We, we did lose that, and he's just landed it, as you can see. So we lost that MLRS. Which is a big problem because cool. they're still OP, so it's a big problem that we've not Ready, got sir. that. Engage on sight. 
And because he's landed, it's just taken ages to kill him. <laughs> he's just spinning around in circles. I think he also got a supply. I might get this supply. You hate to see it, but, you know, that is the game. You gotta be prepared for that. And yeah, he killed the gazelle as well somehow. Um, just shot it while he was on the ground. He just pointed his gun above his own helicopter and just shot it. So this guy's gonna die now. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to my challenge. Oh yeah, my challenger got bailed out. I remember now. Huh. So yeah, I did. I did try and defend, but I didn't defend adequately enough. Uh, my picket line didn't cover the entire length of the map, so I'm gonna lose that. And now we're being RM70 over here. Just need some more infantry to fill the gaps. But like I said, you know our stuff's very expensive now. It makes it very difficult. It makes it very difficult. Uh, right, so let's let's uh, walk forwards over here and see what happens. But we know there's a Conkers in that building. It's a shame that I didn't spot that when I knew it was going to happen. I still was powerless to prevent it. So we're just slowly going to get pushed out of here. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. No. So I'm going to shoot that. Target. Sending Target. these guys forwards. Not sure what's going yes, on there. BMP ones. Okay. Enemy at three o'clock. Hi. Uh, I should probably have brought something a little bit heavier. Yeah, because those BMP ones are actually going to rinse me. Ready. So we'll, we'll try bombing them. We get shot at. Radio check. Red one six. So over. this guy can now get over here. Spread this out a little bit. Surgeon, here. highway is hit. Well done, guys. Uh, not sure where that was actually. Tank ready. Fire and maneuver. The BMP-1s are pretty powerful. Uh, oh, I thought I bombed that with the... What are your orders, guess not. Sir? And you see that they, it goes through the smoke We've now. It stays in a straight line. Oh, I'm hit. You have orders, Captain. It stays in a straight line, hit. so even if you smoke, you've got a pretty good chance of, of still getting him. And we're worse in the Red forests. Over. We're worse in the forest because he gets the Pioneer, Pioneer Flam, etc. My plane costs more than his. We've got him. Uh, but the SAS oh, claim the kills, and without That's support here, we're just going to die. So we need a smoke, but we can't smoke uh, close no, to our own rounds. units, so we're just going to die. Range, so you hate to see it. Uh, but I should have had that Milan moved up, really. And, uh, yeah. Losing that challenger when I get so few of them is a really big problem, actually. But nothing can be done. Try and bomb him here. Let's put it there. If the enemy's in range, so are we. So go for the, the oh, I'm go for the CV one and miss, and then we'll die to the uh, basically just cheaper sir. versions of our tank, because we he gets enemy auto loaders and we don't. So. Ah, that's Cubs. That's Cubs. Uh, at least we got these guys out. Buy another FI tow. So you see that we, we can't really fight the tanks because um, he gets more of them and uh, they're just as good as my tanks despite being cheaper. So you see this gets you know the same amount of pen, basically the same accuracy, one less armor, gets an autoloader, that's very crucial, resolute and it's, uh, it's 70 points different, 70 points less. I, I don't see what you're supposed to do about this without the MLRS. Uh, so like this guy's out of rounds. And you see that we just keep he's also faster than me, yes, so he, he could also uh go forwards faster than I can. Um so we'll buy these and we'll try and get some air mobile up, but it's not looking good at all. It's not looking good at all. Oh, that was on that side. Platoon is formed and ready. Good job, Gunner. It's hot here. So yeah, you just forced to constantly kite this, um, 
and That's yeah, that guy's dead. <laughs> well done, guys. Halt. And uh, I'm missing Where as well. Us, Doing some missing. Oh, whoops. I actually thought I hit this with ready. my hoe itself. I guess I didn't because Enemy it stopped shooting me. <laughs> Adjusting fire. Drop 200. Six rounds. Over. Yeah, it's still there. <laughs> ammo spent. Oh dear, what that's coming in too deep. Successful hit. He's going for this. Enemy right up. Get in formation. Uh, I was hoping that well the SAS would intercept it, but they didn't. Um, the Harrier AA, of course, isn't really what you want. Loud and clear. Uh, go for the AA. Oh no, actually, he's got. Oh, this this was a misplay because of the Cubs. Um, it was a misplay of the cup. See, so yeah, there's a lot of AA there, and uh, you want to get two of these now, so that was a serious mistake. Serious mistake. Um, and yeah, the Harriers die in one hit to the to the Cubs. So, yeah, it just goes to show, really, the the division just doesn't stand up anymore. You can't really do anything. Um, it's just, it's been nerfed on every single tab except one, uh, which was the helicopter tab, where it got an FI toe, which doesn't really work properly. And so, you know, it's difficult. Uh, we're very far behind here. We're just sort of waiting for him to take the zone. And I tried to defend that MLRS, but I couldn't. Maybe I should have just put the guys around the MLRS. Just get me out of here. The sky is ours. And you see that the KPVTs are very good against helicopters. Yeah, there's no point dragging it out, really. Um, nothing, just can't really do well, anything about guys. this. Although 7th is looking like a pretty fun division now. If, you, if you're a 7th fan, that seems to have gotten pretty good. Because uh, you get a lot of... Uh, you get a lot more T-72s, you know. So that's, uh, that's GG. Um, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with this division. It's been massively nerfed. The M270 can be useful, but... You know, he also gets the RM-72, which is just as good. And, uh, yeah, the T-72s are basically just... I actually really want to look at that. So, if you look at the T-72M... Uh, the M1, I suppose. And you compare it to the Challenger. So, what are you getting for your extra 70 points? You're getting worse cohesion, because the M1 has Resolute. You're getting one more front armor. You're getting you're getting one extra pip of range, which is important. The extra range is important. You saw how I was trying to kite that massive blob. Uh, and you get lower fire rate because he gets an auto loader and you don't. And you get uh, five percent more accuracy for seventy points. You also get worse MGs, and you're slower. So it really is interesting. One more side armor, I suppose. One more rear armor, I suppose. I think it's a big shame. Uh, I think the challenges are just kind of useless. I think this div's just kind of useless. But, you know, we do what we can. We do what we can. Obviously, it's not up to me. And one is a game made in France. So let me know what you think. And I'll see you around.